Hey everyone, I actually had a pretty good response after my last video and a couple of you were asking me questions about similar gear and so this is from my buddy Andy who was asking me about sunglasses. I actually just happened to pick up a pair recently. So I'm going to talk about really quickly what I wear for cycling and why. Another reason I wanted to make this video, I actually didn't see any other videos about this model. These are the 100% Centric. They're kind of a hybrid sport Ray-Ban look, whatever you want to call them. The reason I like these versus some of the bigger ones, I feel like this style fits my face better and doesn't really impede my vision. I understand people like the huge mountain bike cycling goggles that take up your whole face. Uh, personally for me, I feel like that's kind of an 80s Hulk Hogan look or kind of a riff raff music video, one of the two. <laughs> I like to be able to wear my sunglasses out driving around, running errands, that kind of stuff too. When I first started out, I've used everything from regular clear safety goggles to cheap polarized department store sunglasses. And one thing I'll say about those is they kind of mess with your vision after a while. It doesn't do this to everyone, but I feel like after I've been wearing them for about 30 minutes or more, regardless of the brand or how expensive they are, polarized sunglasses just mess with my vision. I don't know what it is. It's similar to like the 3D TV effect that bothers some people. It just throws my depth of field off. But that leads me into colored lenses. And without getting too deep into this, basically the theory behind different colored lenses is they filter different colors of light. So where yellow, orange, and gold glasses are better at low light, rose or red tinted lenses are better at blocking blue light. So that actually helps your visibility and can enhance color and contrast and that kind of thing. So as you can see, I found that red tinted mirror lenses work really well for me and that tends to be what I buy on everything. And I bought these to be able to wear either mountain biking or road biking, but as you can see, I actually have this uh, Giro Vanquish helmet that has a pretty cool visor built into it, also mirror tinted. And not every pair of sunglasses will say this, but there's actually a category between zero and four. That's the UV category, and that just determines how dark the lens is and how much light that they absorb. So on a scale of zero to four, zero blocks the least amount of light. That's a clear lens, and four is the darkest. Uh, four is technically illegal to drive. Uh, that blocks up to 98% of the light. That's for extremely high elevation, high mountain, high sunlight. The 100% centric are category two, and I think that's what most of them are. I couldn't find any information for the visor on this helmet, but uh, it's really similar in the light filtering. So these claim 22% light transmission and 100% UV protection. And it's also important to note that the lenses are shatterproof. So obviously mountain biking, don't wanna use anything that's going to shatter or you know blow up in your eyeball. They do have this coating that supposedly repels water, dirt, and oil. And it does have this nice uh, rubber grip on the ends of the pads and tips. So it stays on your head nice and snug. So I've been really happy with these overall. I feel like uh, they're not too loud looking. Again, you can wear them on the road, mountain, out driving, whatever. Just good all around sunglasses. And I'll show you real quickly here kind of what it looks like to, to look through them. Aim down towards some flowers here. You can see a really good contrast enhancing. It kind of uh, makes the colors pop. Not exactly trail or road footage, but uh, you get the idea. So if you're in the market for some new sunglasses, uh, definitely check out the 100% brand. Uh, this is the first model I've tried from them. I've had a lot of other brands, but this is the first for me and been really happy with them so far. Thanks for watching.